The first Naples Winter Wine Festival was held in 2001, and they have always called the Ritz-Carlton Naples Tiburon home since day one. To date, NCEF has raised $269 million. They identified seven areas to focus on. They call it their strategic initiatives, and they're all focused around a child's well-being. Early learning, health care, hunger, mental health, after school time, vision, and oral health. And oral health sometimes presents unique challenges. Wink News Health and medical reporter Amy Osher shows us how NCEF turns your dollars into specialized dental treatment for kids. Situated on the Collier campus of Florida Southwestern State College is the state-of-the-art NCEF Pediatric Dental Center. It fills a great need, UF Dental resident Alexandra Fuller tells me. Most of her patients are considered high risk. They do have generalized cavities throughout their mouth and to be able to bring them in in multiple visits and have them sit comfortably and not be afraid for future visits, it's very difficult. Mom Wendy Sharon knows what it feels like. Her 12-year-old son Jesse has Down syndrome. Going to the dentist was hard on everyone. Jesse has a fear of um, anyone putting their hands near his mouth. So a lot of times we couldn't even get him to open his mouth. This center is designed to help kids with special needs and kids with complex cases. It offers things other dental offices don't. This is the room that we see a lot of our special needs patients in. It is separate from the rest of the clinic. Putting patients at ease is only the beginning. To accomplish what needs to be done, many of the kids will need to be sedated. Where an anesthesia team comes into the office and provides the anesthesia care and we do the dentistry in one sitting so that the patients are more comfortable, they're asleep. There is a great need for IV sedations, which can cost thousands of dollars in the open market. All of the procedures done here are absolutely free to the patient. Thanks to funding from the Naples Children and Education Foundation, it foots the entire bill for sedation services, something Jesse sorely needed. When he needed to have some teeth extracted, he was actually able to come into the facility and be put under IV sedation right here, which was so fantastic. Because we have so many gracious donors, that's the only reason we're able to upkeep and do this. It's a constant challenge. The wait list for sedation grows by about 10 kids each week. Regardless of cost, fixing their smiles is priceless. Amy Osher, Wink News.